Welcome Aries. I'm back again with another video. Let me see if I can maneuver. If I can maneuver this somehow. Um, let's do it this way. Yeah, because it's just it's easier. Yeah, I can kind of see. So welcome Aries. I'm back, y'all. I missed y'all. What's been going on? What's been going on? So let's talk, y'all. Let's talk. Let's talk about the month of October. Let's see what's coming towards you. Guys, this is a general read, of course, okay? If you want to book your own personal reading, um, you can do that. You can contact me via email. I could just set up for a personal read, okay? Um... As well, guys, if you would like to follow me on social media, all of that information is going to be in the description box below, okay? If you want to order the Money Magnet Oil or any of the oils, um, all of that information is going to be in the description box, okay? So let's talk, Aries. October. Like, this, this year has just really flown by, right? <laughs> Let's see what's going on. What's, what's coming towards you um, for October? What message do you have for my collective um, Aries? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Okay. Well, damn, Aries. We got the Four of Cups. Okay, did some of y'all miss an opportunity or there's a, there's something that you missed or, well, let's see. King of Cups. <laughs> Ooh, somebody done pissed off the Aries. Yeah. It's like, I don't care if you don't talk to me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot of confusion. A bunch of people. Um, seven of Cups and the Five of Wands wanted to come out together. Ooh, and the Seven of Swords, the Nine of Swords. Yikes. King of Wands. Six of Cups. We got the Hierophant. Two of Pentacles. Oh, the Ace. No, the Ace of Swords and the Empress. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk. At the bottom of the deck, we got the Knight of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. Is something like taking too long? Somebody's uh, taking a long time. To do something or communicate with you or reach out to you um or you don't trust someone i feel like it could also be that you don't trust someone as well too we got the high priestess and the nine of swords like your intuition is telling you you know not to trust this person you don't care what they say i'm getting that i'm hearing that big like i don't care what you say i don't got no sympathy for you i don't care what you say this person could be coming to you with a bunch of confusion. Why is the Four of Cups here? Y'all are just like, uh-uh. No, no way. Why is the Four of Cups here? Yeah, okay. We got the Eight of Cups. Okay, so someone walked away. Someone walks, walks away. You want to walk away. They want to walk away. I feel like it's you that want to walk away. Um, or you've already walked away and closed this chapter and started a new one, okay? You, I feel like you, somebody broke free, okay? Because I got the Eight of Swords and the Fool, and then I got the Lovers here, the Gemini energy. Um, are, did you break free? Are you breaking free of something? Or did someone else break free? Why is the Eight of Cups here? Eight of Cups is Pisces energy. King of Pentacles. 
uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But this is possibly even from an obligation. Maybe some of y'all are saying like, um, I don't want to pay this. I don't care what you say. I'm not paying this. I'm not putting. I'm not putting anything into the pot. We got a spy here. We got a spy. Could be three people. Um, I'm also getting like an immature apology. But I'm getting like there's something. Someone needs to heal. Three of Swords and the Temperance card. Someone is needing to heal. There's actually even like some type of wound that someone needs to heal. Hmm. Why is the Page of Wands here? The Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups. I'm getting like someone saying that they'll be okay if someone leaves. Some of you um, are, are like even contemplating like starting something new. Like you're happy. You're happier closing this chapter and starting something new. Yeah, like you're manifesting your equal. We got the justice and the ace of pentacles and the magician. Okay, so you're trying to make, make something balanced or fair or right. Maybe the you feel like the right thing for you to do is to walk away or for this person to walk away for their own happiness. Why is the King of Cups here? The Four of Swords. Someone's getting tired. You may be tired. Um, we got the Queen of Swords here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Some of you are tired of having sympathy for someone. I'm just getting that. This person always has something going on. Seven of Cups and the Five of Wands. Like, this person always got something going on. Why is the Five of Wands here? The Three of Swords. Yeah. Like, it's always something going on. Some confusion or third party situation. Somebody's trying to make someone believe these stories. Like I'm getting like someone's making up stories and you're just not here for it. Like you don't, I feel like you don't really have sympathy for this person. Why is the King of Wands here? Ten of Swords, like I said. Like, King of Wands is action. And this is you guys' energy. With the Ten of Swords, they're saying, like, no, you're not taking any action. You're letting the universe handle handle the situation. You may feel like this person has stabbed you in the back before. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Yeah, you may feel like this person doesn't... Um, really have any future plans like you just don't feel like it's worth any of your action on your part now the queen of pentacles is here the two of swords ten of pentacles i really do feel like someone is looking for like financial assistance from you or needs your help in a in a, in a certain situation someone here could be going through a financial hiccup but i just feel like you're not going for it why is the six of cups here Future energy, the moon card. Ooh, okay. So we got the nine of wands and the moon. That makes me feel like someone is like a, like a stalker. Um, I'm getting like somebody watches somebody. Why is the moon card here? Page of swords, like I said. We got the hermit card and the star card. Okay. You're watching someone or someone is watching you. We got the Hermit card. Could be a Virgo or an Aquarius here with the Star card. But maybe you watch this person from afar. Um, maybe you keep an eye on this person from afar. Children could be involved with that Six of Cups. because, And then I got the Knight of Swords and the Nine of Wands. I mean, Seven of Wands. This gives me very child, children-like energy. 
you may feel like this person cries wolf they want attention to get money or to get what they want but i just don't feel like you're you're going for it like i just don't feel like you are going for it why is the hard for you like you have boundaries and yeah see i feel like see now some of you may be married to this person or you have a higher level of commitment engage but there is a connection you do share a connection with this person with that two of cups you do share a connection with this person okay the queen of wands wanted to reveal itself there we go with that that um I'm getting like someone, you want someone to completely, either you want to close this chapter and start fresh or you want this person to close this, close that and just start over. Like just, just scratch everything out and just start over. I got the world, the lovers and the fool. I feel like there's no doubt in my mind that you love this person. I do feel like you love this person. You care about this person, but I just feel like this person, um, they can't get over on you. Two of Pentacles is how they view you. Somebody definitely is, is wanting a second chance. Okay? Like, they feel like you're supposed to give them multiple chances. Okay? Um, why is the judgment for me? Yeah, the Knight of Swords. There could very much so be children involved. But they feel like you're supposed to come running when they call with the Page of Cups and that Knight of Swords. They feel like, what's stopping you? Nine of Wands. What's stopping you? Okay. Now, with that Ace of Swords and your hopes and fears, you may hope that this person is telling the truth. Like you, you hope that they're telling the truth. Like you, you just hope that this person is is telling the honest truth. Like yeah, see, we got the seven of pentacles. You're being, you're waiting, being patient to hear the whole story or hear something out or waiting for them to contact you. Um, but I feel like you, 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 you're not like I hope this person is telling me the whole story. But we got the outcome as the empress. For some of you, this is like a mother or a sister or an aunt or a very feminine energy possibly um but you also could be looking at this person like you know hey you have to expand you have to grow why is the emphasis here the justice cards for some of you is definitely a libra yeah and see someone here could definitely be married with the justice card and ten of pentacles i'm getting like a wife um Somebody here could be stuck in some type of commitment, financial. I'm getting, like, obligated. Somebody feels obligated, uh, feels like you're obligated to assist them with this Eight of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. This could very much so be a family member. Um, why is the Justice card here? Yeah, the Nine of Cups. I feel like you want to help, but you're not you're not into being tricked or fooled okay i feel like you feel like you've done enough with the death card and the ten of wands i feel like you feel like you've done enough you've done you i feel like you've already assisted this person you've already helped in a way that you can help and you're just like you're watching from the sidelines now yep you feel like all this person wants is money because look at this Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. You feel like this person wants money. They don't want help in any other way but money. And I just feel like you like, no, no, no. Mm -mm. Make it make sense, sweetie. Make it make sense, boo-boo. Because -boo. that ain't going down like that over here. Mm -mm. We not. We not going to do that. <laughs> we not. <laughs> And I don't blame y'all, okay? All right, so let's see what advice we got for y'all. What message do you have for my Aries? Y'all standing strong and tall, and I can admire it. Oh, 
see we got you saying no. <laughs> no. The answer is no. Uh-uh. Then we got play. How fun. Celebrate. Don't be so serious. Like some of y'all are like, this person is not about to play with my money. This person ain't finna play with what, what I earned. Okay? You possibly want them to get grounded. Like, uh-uh. Y'all, I, I just feel like y'all not playing with this person at all. Where are you being called to journey to? The crumbling. What are you clinging on to? I feel like somebody is going to reach out to you. We got to answer the call. I feel like somebody is going to reach out to you and telling you that this is the tower card. Like telling you how things are crumbling in their life. But all you have to offer them is advice. Where are you being called to journey to? Because no, I'm not going to let you come in and play around and play with me. No. I just get y'all saying flat out no. <laughs> no. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. If it's not benefiting you, if you don't see this person being, you know, doing things, you know, that they're supposed to be doing or, you know, I feel like y'all y'all have helped this person before, um, but they aren't going to get it. They, they uh, not this time. Not this time. And the answer is no. <laughs> All right, Aries, y'all let me know if this message resonated with you. Comment below in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to click the bell to subscribe, guys. Check out the description box for more details, okay? All right, ciao for now.